Number one, as educators, we are concerned about our students' ability to learn and comprehend new information. We know that the teen years are critical for brain development and the adolescent brain doesn't fully develop until the age of 25. Number two, the younger the adolescent is exposed to nicotine, the stronger and more rapid the addiction. The earlier you become addicted, the harder it is to quit. Nicotine affects the development of brain circuits that control attention and learning. Number three, young people who use nicotine products in any form, including e-cigarettes, are uniquely at risk for long-lasting effects. Number four, because nicotine manipulates development of the brain's reward system, continued e-cigarette usage can lead to nicotine addiction and make other drugs more pleasurable to the teen's developing brain. Kids who use nicotine earlier in life are likely to transition to other drugs later on. Number five, other risks include mood disorders and permanent problems with impulse control, resulting in the failure to fight an urge or impulse that may harm oneself or others. It is vital that we have a conversation with our children about these dangers. When we know better, we do better.